Hello! Welcome to this video session of Microsoft Word and Academic Writing. There are several video sessions for this particular uh, quick workshop and um, I'm going to talk about useful tabs and buttons yeah, to make your writing uh, experience easier if you are not using some uh, special referencing softwares like Endnote or Citavi, Microsoft Word has um, a very simple but quite useful uh, features as well for you. So this video session's topic is about how to format paragraphs. If you have difficulty to hear me, I would suggest that you use your headphone for this video. And when you don't understand what I was explaining, um, just pause it, rewind, and then play it again. Yeah. There are three things I would like to touch on today for this particular video. Double spacing when starting a new paragraph. Where's the ruler in Microsoft Word? Yeah, this one here is the ruler. How do you find it? How do you switch it on? How do you turn it off? And what are the uses of these tabs here? Now, here is my practice file. Now, if you don't know where to get your practice file, again, go back to Moodle, academic writing, Moodle here in the first topic. I have a folder saying practice files for the workshop. So click on it and that's the file. Okay, so let me go back to the practice file and we will start with um, formatting your paragraph. As you know, there are two uh, paragraph style. Um, this one here, as you can see, is the block style. The indented style it's like this. You have a little indentation. Okay. So usually if I want to start a new paragraph, as you can see, I, I've uh, created two different fonts. So you can see there are two paragraphs. You would double space. You know, click, um, tap the enter key twice. And then you can see that it's very clearly there are two paragraphs. But if you're writing a very long paper, um, double you know, tapping your enter can be annoying sometimes. So you can program Microsoft Word, you know, and tell this software, every time I press the enter key, please double space it for me. So let me go back. Now there are, um, some people who are using the indented style. So when you are using the indented style, sometimes you don't need to have a double space. Yeah, because of the indentation, paragraphs can be seen quite clearly. But some students like to double space as well, so it looks neater and nice. However, when you are using the block style, it is sometimes very difficult yeah, to see the paragraphs unless you know the reader has to check this end bit to know that's the beginning. So it is always better to double space it. So if I were to start a new paragraph at the moment without programming my software, um, without telling Microsoft Word what to do, I have to you know, tap my enter key twice. So how do I make my life a little easier? First, you make sure you are in the home tab. There are lots of tabs here. In the German Microsoft, it's called start. In the English one, it's called home. Yeah. And then you can see there are lots of categories. Now this category called paragraph or absatz 
you can see there are some buttons but you can see here there's a another button and once you graze your mouse cursor over it it suggests that when you click here this window will open so please click there you have it here's an example what will happen to your paragraph yeah, so so everything is zero the most important thing is this section called upstand um, I don't know what's it called in English but um, the layout of the window is the same you want to go to this for or before I presume at the moment it's zero now if you click the bottom button here something will happen here in the preview yeah let's have a look look it's double spaced and if I do zero again it goes back so you want this to be auto in auto format okay so you tell Microsoft Word please do it automatically click OK nothing happened yet so click here so this is where I want my new paragraph and you will hear me tap tapping this um, enter key and you will see what happened there automatically you know double space is created in one single enter tap so that's the first thing I like to show you today the second thing now it's the ruler as you can see I already have the ruler let me make it closer so you can see it better so you can see there's the ruler there I don't know how well you um, you know you know where uh, how to use this um, I'm sure some of you are wondering I don't have one on my Microsoft Word so how do you find it there are two ways one is using the tab and go to this tab called Ansicht I think in English is called view so when you click this you can see this category here has been clicked it's called lineal uh, in English is ruler I, I think when I unclick it this ruler will disappear so let me show you Ta -da! it's disappeared when you want it you click it back yeah. there's also a shortcut now you can see there's uh, some funny buttons here and you can see this button here right at the top when you grace your mouse over it, it says linear means ruler so when you click this once it disappear click it again it appears so this is how you find your ruler okay so the third thing I would like to show you now are the ruler tabs. There are three buttons here. If you graze your mouse over it, it will have a name. In German, the first top button is called Erstzeilen Einzug. It's the first line indentation. The second one, Hängende Einzug. I think it means the rest of the lines indentation and the rectangular button it's called linker einzug means it links everything and you can move all of them in that particular paragraph or highlighted section you know together so let me show you how it works let me have my cursor here and I'm going to do an indentation to one centimeter now this at the moment works only on this paragraph now if I want it to be on both of my paragraphs so I'll all I need to do is highlight both paragraphs and then move the top button to one centimeter there you go all two centimeters or seven centimeters yeah, so that's how these top this top tab works so then your whole all the paragraphs in your essay will have some kind of indentation okay so I want them all back together so I move it back 
sometimes it doesn't work I don't know why it doesn't work yeah it could be my mouse I'm not doing it properly so let's move on to the second button this second button will indent the rest of the lines except the first line now this is very useful for students who are doing APA reference lists because APA reference list would require you to indent second and third or more lines yeah, in the reference list and I'll show it to you later but at the moment we just use these two paragraphs to see what happened so once you moved it you can see yeah, the first line stays where it's supposed to stay and then the rest of the lines moved you can play around with it to see how it goes then you move it back yeah and the last button this linker einzug link everything and can be moved like this okay so play around with it and you'll be you know familiar with the usage so how do you use this in your academic writing one of course or highlighting all the paragraphs if you want to do some sort of indentation I'm still no it's still not working yeah there you go okay so if you go to the next page in your practice file I have a sample reference list and in this sample reference list I am pretending that I am using APA yeah, style and all the second line should be indented so in the past you will probably do something like you know I don't know you you find a way to do it and imagine if you have a huge reference list you know you'll be so tired of clicking the space button so this is a very useful button this bottom button let me highlight everything and then I click on the bottom button to one and a half centimeter all of them no that's because I moved it very funnily just now so it's not working. ah there it is it's working now you just have to play around with it when something sometimes doesn't work um, then it will work I, I'm not an expert in Microsoft Word but um, I just know I need to know what buttons are useful for my writing so I'm sharing this with you so this is one usefulness for this bottom button for reference list now occasionally when you're writing your paper you will also do some quoting now short quotes have you know very easy rules longer quotes have different rules now this sample here is the oxford style um, long quotation that's why they have this um, quotation marks now in harvard and apa it doesn't have it but this is not the reason i'm not here to show you the differences of um, different style quotation i'm here to show you how to use this button with long quotations um, most of the time the referencing style will ask you to indent yeah, indent the whole thing so that's when you need to highlight everything you highlight everything and then you use this rectangular button to indent your long quotes so depending on the referencing style sometimes they ask for one centimeter Sometimes they ask for two, you know, and sometimes I, I feel like, oh, um, it's a little bit too much on the right. And here you go, there's another tab. You can move it a little bit, change it a little bit, yeah, to make it look really nice and neat. So there you have it. The three usage of um, these buttons, yeah. So now you know how to do double spacing with your paragraph just program microsoft and say whenever i type enter please double space it for me automatically 
and you know how to find your ruler and you know how to use the ruler tabs. Yeah. All you need to do is practice and you'll be fine and you know how these little little things help your academic writing experiences easier. So watch out for my next video session soon and have a nice day. Bye bye.